Oh, oh. Oh. These T37s are destroyed. Yeah, the whole lip is mashed in on it. Looks like it was crashed into a wall. I don't know if that's savable. We will find out. Fucking spoiling ourselves at lunch. So, uh, we've been having barbecues for lunch. Yeah, baby. Putting the forklift to use. Sorted. Yeah. Sorted. Excited. Yes, I am. We have to gain in about 20 stone here. I'm yeah. just eating fucking burgers. I'm nearly 13 stone now. That's from all the burgers no, we've been like eating. 11 during lockdown, like. Sean hasn't gained any, he's alright. Uh, a little muffin top on this lad. Yum yum. Sizzle bum. They don't look too bad now. Oh, Just one of the rare summer days, even though it's not summer anymore. No. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Cheese, please. The finest mild red cheddar slices. The good stuff. Oh, oh, on camera also. The poverty barbecues at work, which are actually in fucking great. Take a, a lovely bite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Flavour town. <laughs> right, you, you fucking. Food coma. Food coma. Belly. Prego, prego belly. When we wake up from our food coma, we'll show you some of the wheels. Two hours later. What's going on? How are you guys getting on in COVID-19 coronavirus land? Our videos have definitely stopped. Uh, we got extremely busy here over the last few months. When I came back to work, we got our container in, which you've seen in the last video, and I pretty much didn't have time to film anything after that because we sold over 70 sets of wheels. Our wheel wall is completely, well, more or less empty. There's, what, like 12 sets or more left on the wall. Stuff is sold that was here for years, which is pretty cool. I don't know, I guess everybody wanted to buy stuff over lockdown. I spent a lot of money on my car over lockdown, so I can understand. So whatever's left, which you can see here and laid out on the floor over there, is uh, stuff for stock. But you've seen from the last container, even though we always say it's the biggest container, um, the last one was truly the largest collection of wheels that we've imported so far. There's still quite a lot here, which is impressive because it was insane for at least the last three weeks, just every day shipping stuff out. And then because shipping is messed up, there's just chaos with stuff. Getting stuck in certain countries, uh, yeah, it's definitely strange and uncertain times, but we are back in work and business is good for now. So just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has purchased over the last few weeks from us, it uh, kept us busy and kept us sane here in work. And yeah, there's another container coming next Thursday, which is nuts. So you've probably seen all this stuff already because I've gone through it when we opened the container, but uh, there's a lot of really nice wheels here. Some stuff is mangled. These T37s are destroyed. Yeah, the whole lip is mashed in on it. Looks like it was crashed into a wall. I don't know if that's savable. We will find out. It's just the joys of buying stuff off of Yahoo Auctions. Our friend John came down and tried on those RSO 5RRs on his Verosa, which you've seen. But uh, eventually he was swayed for a set of T37s, which I can completely understand. The plan is to photograph all this stuff over the next two days and get it up on the website. What's interesting is most of the wheels sold even without a shooting photograph. So people just went off of the Yahoo pictures, which are not always great. That's why we reshoot all the stuff and check it out. I know we kind of do a lot of the same stuff here all the time. That's what we do with JDM Distro. Import stuff, take photos of it, ship it back out. The plan is to just go through them all now, organize them, uh, clean them, check the specs. Hopefully the weather stays somewhat decent. We need a dull day to shoot the wheels. When it's sunny, it's too bright. I can't get over how bare, this is the, 
the barest I've ever seen the wheel wall. There's a lot of people bought stuff. And uh, it's pretty cool to see. Great to see so many more people enjoying genuine Japanese wheels. This stuff got sent all over the world. We have a lot of American viewers and people that buy stuff now, so hello to you guys. Saying that, with America, we're after getting uh, cheaper shipping quotes with another company now, so we can guarantee shipping like wheels out to the US. Bumpers and bonnets and engines and stuff, still a little bit tricky. We uh, have a place now in Canada, I think that we can ship this, so if you are from the US and you're watching this and you want to buy stuff off us, get in contact, we can try and figure something out. We can ship stuff straight from Japan to North America now, which is kind of cool. Adrian has the joys of going through the tires. We're trying to see which ones are usable, which ones aren't. Like I said, it's cheaper for us to um, take the tires off here than take them off in Japan. So unfortunately over the last couple of weeks, Adrian's had the miserable task of taking all these off and there was a lot of wheels here. So a lot of these tires are junk. Same up there, there's a lot of them up there as well. We're running out of space. So hopefully try and shift some of these on eBay over the next few weeks, just sell them off for cheap, whatever is usable and then whatever scrap, we'll just send it to the recycling. Looks like all these tires are decent. And then these are all the other tires from the last container that we need to sell too. So really need to get a move on with that. Just like I said, it's been so busy. I spent over a month at home in lockdown. We couldn't travel around, so we're just playing catch up. And the fact we have another container coming in about like five days definitely doesn't help, but uh, it keeps things busy, it keeps us uh, interested and excited. It's very cool to have a site like this. Working here nearly, yeah, four years, like it's pretty cool to have this many amazing wheels all lined up at once just to look at. It's kind of overwhelming on the brain, to be honest. Like, there's just so much goodness. I'm glad that I do not get desensitized to this stuff because you would think being here this long and just having the best of the best wheels all the time here to just drool over. If anything, it's a pain because I would love to own a lot of this stuff and just put it away. Bronze T37s in the best sizes, C28s. The gravel T37 with the flat lip, these came off of a rally car. Then LMG T4s, like long champs with Hanabies, all the Superstar wheels. Not one, but three sets of Rega Masters. Prices are going up in Japan, so we just have to keep moving the prices up. As the stockpiles start to... You can see some stuff starting to shrivel up, especially these, the T37s. I mean, in this size, these don't actually even have any carbon. They're super mint. It's a shame it's only a pair, but... Uh, you're talking easily over 3,000 euros for a set of these now. Where's it gonna be in a few years? That's what we always ask working here because when you're here, you're always watching stuff on the auctions and you're watching the prices of stuff creep up. It's interesting to see where this will all go in a few years. It's updating all the container tracking. All right. But the sheet wouldn't work. Like you couldn't copy and paste, so you had to type them all in. So you had to type out the full container list yeah. by hand. Yeah. And there's over 500 items on the container list. 600 items. 600 items. So there needs to be quantity, list. Some of the not so glamorous things that we do around here. 243. <laughs> you get to write everything out by hand. Jesus, that's like doing uh, lines in work or what? I don't know what they, what do they call it? Do they call it lines? I guess it's universally, yeah. You've probably seen all these seats already, they came in in the last container. Adrian ended up buying this Tom seat. And uh, our seat stock is definitely a lot smaller than it used to be. Hey, like, that's all, is that? Right. Again, it's just down to stuff getting, awesome. stuff getting a lot rarer. And stuff being not profitable. Like these bride, what's this? Like an artist and Zetas in red. Like they easily go for over four or five hundred quid. And even in Japan, Prices fetch pretty high, so it's not not even profitable for us to bring the stuff in and sell it anymore. So we can still always get this stuff if you wanted for yourself. But uh, yeah, prices are getting out of control. These used to be cheap and cheerful skid wheels a few years ago in Japan. You'd probably pick a 
a full setup for about three or four hundred euros, maybe less even. And now, like, just because of the GTR tax, I'm sure a load of people are going to demodify their R34s because they are more valuable in standard form. So people will be purchasing these wheels to put them back on. I guess whatever you're into, some people are into cars because they're an investment and then other people probably are into cars because they like modifying them. I'm definitely into cars for the, the latter reason. I spend loads of money and I modify my car to make it worthless for a collector. So whatever you're into, I guess. Everyone's into it for different reasons. Yeah, it's just personal preference, but it's definitely going to go that way. But uh, there is. This is one of the nicest lineups we've ever had. So that's what we're going to spend the next two days doing, trying to get all this stuff up on the website and then up on the wall. Maybe bring that wall back to life. So enough talking shit out of me. We'll cut to a nice montage of these wheels. Mm -hmm.